welcome to foam wedge RDL balances. So we have an instrument to help us balance a foam wedge. You can get it on Amazon for 20 bucks. And we're gonna do a series of movements. It's the same movement, but there's four angles on the wedge and we have two feet. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's gonna strengthen your lower feet, ankles, calves, all the connective tissue in your lower legs. Whatever's burning is where you're weakest. So you know, you'll get it where you need it. All right, first, I'm gonna take one foot step onto the wedge. I'm going to take the balance instrument in the opposite hand, put it on the ground, my knee drive. Now we're going to hinge at the hip only. Try to keep this knee soft, so slightly bent, but not bent in the squat. This hip is hinged, this toe is pointing to the ground. You want to keep your hips square to the ground. Big thing here is control. So you want to move slowly, pause in each end range, and get that control. After you do the uphill, you're going to turn 90 degrees. We're going to do the same thing. The wedge stays put. We're going to do the same thing though. So now our foot is on a downward angle, the pinky toes downhill, hinge over. It's going to challenge us in a different way. Your ankle is going to have to strengthen a different, different plane. It's going to make you more resilient to injury, strengthen your feet all the way up through the pelvic floor. As you go through this, you can do 10 reps of each, you can do 15 reps of each. It's going to be pretty hard if you do it properly, so just have control throughout. Today I'm just going to throw you, show you three reps of each angle so you get to see. So now we're going downhill. Tip over, regather yourself, reestablish control, reach down. Remember, keep that back toe towards the floor. If your balance is really bad, or you really need to work on your balance, you can use two instruments. So one in each hand, like ski poles. But on our leg here, you're doing all the work. You're going to feel this up. Pull back your leg, hamstring, glute, calf, ankle, it's all gonna burn. And the last one, you could leave your wedge in the same spot and just go around, but instead of me facing away from you, I'll spin it around for the last angle. So, still on my right foot, last of the four angles, knee drive, hinge, make sure your hips are square to the floor. Come on up. As you progress through these movements, you can scrap the balance instrument. You can do it with no balance, no assistance. So you're balancing here, hinging over, and come on up. So the plant leg is going to shake a lot. That's great. That's your central nervous system activating and getting you all balanced. So foam wedge RDLs, check it out. It's going to build stability and durability in your lower feet ankles and lower legs. Have fun.